Schlüssel in der Hand. Let's go to work. Another day, another bond. Tightness test. Let's just go. Definitely got a drop. First 30 seconds. On with the sniffer. How long have you got? It's a half an hour cycle. But I can watch it all the day. I can watch this all day. It's fucking brilliant. Yeah. You have got to be joking. No, I'm not. My ex-wife, I should get her one of those. Yeah. She's a shit. Over the place. It happened quite suddenly. Right. Okay. And it was pouring down from the lamp. Once a chow valve, uh, the parts are obsolete for it. It's a Bryston and they don't make the bits for it anymore. So we are going to take out the two tiles, hopefully not disturb the mosaic, pull the hands free, whatever you want to call it, um, take that out and put in a bar shower. So this is mains fed, so I can't be boiled up. So we will just take the two feeds, put them at 150 centres and maybe tile it, maybe not, who knows. But that's the plan today. This is a stud wall. They've boxed it out here. And today I'm dawning this because my tennis elbow is killing me. Um, so this is a stud wall, so in theory they'll either be coming up that way or coming down from the top. So that will get removed. This is good learning for anyone. Uh, 
You take the details, hopefully it's got it. This has got Bryson, um, like I say, um, I checked, and this has got two parts. This has got a thermostat, a thermostatic valve inside, and a separate on-off shut-off valve. So the shut-off valve is not available, but the thermostat is, and clearly we need the shut-off valve. So if you were coming to replace a part of this, you would find a way in, and in this particular case, there's a tiny little space there, so you prise this off like so. I've got a little hook, like a dentist hook, and it pops over. I don't care about this one because, and then inside, one screw. Undo the screw. Again, we don't care about this one because we are not going to be using it. Pop the cap off. Behind here, looks like two more screws. Crack that one. Crack that one. The screws. Pop the next bit out. So, next thing you need to do is take a photo of this. And preferably put a mark. So put a pen or something like that so that you know how this goes back in. Because when you come to replace this, all of this sort of stuff, it's quite important to know locations of this. So in this particular case, there's a stop round this forward and probably another stop on the other side. So, my guess is that you undo this nut and the whole lot comes out. So, the central piece for that. Off the nut. Keeping tabs. This, this. Yeah, so you need to know that position there. Because if you put it in at the bottom, It'll have less function. So this is us, even back then they were using this special um, sealing plastic bag, paper bag treatment, superb. So if you're ever in need for some sealing, you know, flexibility sealing options, this stuff is just, it's available at the EQ, some of the big box stores, and you can either use it on the top or the bottom. And look at that. You'd never know expanding foam, just this. And these are 12 99 Anyway, back to the subject. Um, so anyone that says that you can ply and then ceramic, so these are ceramic types, it doesn't bond. These are stuck. And this is 15 years ago. So hopefully. I'm hoping, I'll tell you what, so I've got to take the sea out close to 150 wheel because that would be superb if I don't even have to do too much in that. Oh, 150, I reckon. So a little tip for you, taking off these tiles, either buzz the grout line, yeah, with a multi-saw or something, or prize, so prize, but at the same time, when you're doing it, smack the top. That way you will break the tile when you put pressure on it. Yeah, when you put the pressure on it. So, like this. So, tap. Yeah. There you go. Okay. So, a quick little buzz saw around. Two exposed pipes, 
we can whip this off down the bottom and then just use these and reinstate all of this. So, a couple of pipes sticking out the wall. So these are for a shower, 150 centers. Most important thing to check is that they're coming out square to the wall. Yeah, right angle, both of them. Yeah, that's the first thing. And clearly you want to make sure that they're level. So there's a little bit of leeway in this, so we can wrench this one up a little bit and that'll do us. So that's the key thing on this. Yeah, and that they look square when you're looking at them. Yeah. So a quick little check, it's level, everything sticking out. So the front of these needs to be the front of those, that's how I do it anyway. So if that makes sense. Yeah, so this is actually screwed to the front of the tile. And the same on this side, so we'll probably trim we can leave almost that bit there, but I'll probably trim it back maybe 5 10 mil just so it's got plenty extra. And then we'll secure this all in. Okay, so I thought I'd share this to you. I've got to fit a couple of tiles, and these are ceramics, but you can do the same thing on uh, porcelain and the like. So, first step is you mark exactly where you need it to be take the sides, take the lines, and I've got to do a couple of 15 mil holes. Second thing is get yourself an angle grinder. I use a Maserist um, ultra weight, a thin one. That thin, and yeah, without the guard. The idea is you do a series of diagonal cuts, and then you punch it through from this side. You guys probably know this, but this is how I've been doing it for 25 odd years. So once you've done it, you should have something like that and then literally you have still got the front intact and you will just punch a hole tell you what I'll do it now just take it at the moment I will, use, I will just use a, uh, a screwdriver of some description and stop tapping it through and there you go slowly chip it as you buy on all of those different hole saws and whatnot, and I use that simple wafer thing. I've had it for years. So I nicked this from one of my stores. It's not the right size, and because it's glass, it takes forever to go off the ground. Anyway, this is in. So two pipes fed out, 150 centers, two tiles busted in, and dust sheets and all ready to be packed up for your next job. <laughs> 